Here's the question I got asked. How do you add publications to your LinkedIn profile? So let me show you how to do that from my LinkedIn profile. Now, if you don't have any publications on your LinkedIn profile at all, you can go to add profile section, which is right here. Or if you scroll up, you'll notice that it shows up over here, add profile. Click on that, then you go down to additional and add publications. If you have publications on your profile already, just scroll down to the publication section, which is going to be down here below skills, recommendations. Here it is right here. And you can hit the plus to add a new publication. When you go add a publication, you got to give it a title. And I recommend you give it a title that is meaningful. Blocking, I'm going to do it this way. Blocking iPhone callers. This is the one I'm going to share. Now, I want to know who the publisher is, and the publisher could be any name, but it, in this case, happens to be Burris Consulting Incorporated, which is my business. Wants to know when it was published. It was actually published today, 2024. There we go. Uh, I can add another author or somebody else help me do it. I can include them in there if I want to. It would have to be, uh, has to be someone on LinkedIn. Let's see if I can do this. A uh, Jim Smith. Yeah, it has to be someone who's first level connected to you. That don't have that. Now I want to know the URL to the publication. It must be a publication that is online. Let's, let me share with you some tips about how to create URLs for publications that aren't already, don't already have a URL. Number one, if it's a Word document or a PDF that you have in email or it's in your computer somewhere, you could take that PDF or you could take that Word document and you could put it in Dropbox or you could put it in Google Drive or Box.com, one of those places. And then when you do that, make the document publicly accessible so that it has a public URL. And then you can put the public URL there. Let me give you, show you an example here. I did this document this morning. I'm still working on writing this document. If it's in Google Docs. If I want to make it public, I can hit the share button right here and I can then change from restricted to anyone. And now I can copy that link and I could take that link. Let me go ahead and just use this as the example. And I can put that link right here, paste it in there. Now you get 500, excuse me, you get 2000 characters to explain what this publication is all about. Let me put some text in there. Give me a minute. I got to change the title because it's the wrong title. Now I have the title, the publisher, the date. I have the URL, which is the Google Drive document. And then I have my little description. Again, you get 2,000 characters. So it would be beneficial for you and for the viewer if you wrote a little bit more about what you're sharing here. But once you've done all that, you hit save. Now if I scroll down to publications, Stay safe using your iPhone. There it is right there. I can If I click on show the publication, uh, you can see it in the bottom left-hand corner of the screen. It's basically going to open up the Google Doc that I have open. Click on that. And this is a flaw right here. I don't like this. It actually opened it up in place where LinkedIn was. I wish it would open up in another window. But there it is right there. And again, I, because it opened up in the same window, I have to hit back to take me back to LinkedIn. I'm going to scroll down to publications. Again, there's my publication. And again, when I hit the plus, the, the key is you need to have the URL to the publication you want to share. If it's not a shared document, you need to put it somewhere where it is shareable, and then you can put that URL into this publication. I'm Teddy, your LinkedIn strategist, trainer, and coach, and I hope this is helpful for you.